Welcome all to our classroom for another beautiful session. And our today's topic, we are going to concentrate on what is known as the time series. And to be more specific, we are going to examine trend analysis. Now, basically, trend analysis is used to examine the changes in movement of variables over a given period of time. And one of the methods that can be used to approximate or to estimate or to show how actually variables change with time is known as the centered moving averages. Now, if you talk about these centered moving averages in trend analysis, it is whereby the order of moving averages consists of even set of data. Now, when you have an even set of data, it means that it is not easy, it is not that easy to approximate uh, the approximate mean or the assumed mean for that particular data. And in this case, we are going to involve a process known as centering in this particular method. And when we talk about centering, it is whereby moving averages of order 2 are computed based on the process on the previous computed moving averages so it means we are going to have a first set of computation of moving averages by adding all the figures and dividing by the number of <coughs> the number of variables then we compute the second variable at the second stage whereby we get the mean of what we computed in the first uh, stage now we say that the resultant values have a time point that represent the trend values now what you're going to compute at the end the that is the average of the two uh, corresponding variables will give us an approximate trend of these particular cells of that that we have been given. Now, like in our question, we are told that below shows a quarterly sales made by XYZ company. And then we are told to show the trend analysis by computing using centered moving average of order 4. So we are supposed to use, uh, to use order 4. So we have the quarterly sales. We have three years. 2017 to 2019 each year we have the first quarter up to the fourth quarter all the way to 2019 also it also has four four quarters now essentially it means that we are going to get the average for each pairs of orders like if you start for example with this one we are supposed to talk about the first one, second, third, and fourth, because I talk about order four. Order four means we pick any four pairs of variables in succeeding manner. Now we are going to have this one. We add everything, and when we add that one, we, we add all the four figures and divide by four, we get a value of 83.75. That 83.75 will be the trend, the trend <coughs> for the next uh, period after the first one. Now we cannot put that value at the first quarter because it actually shows the trend for the next quarter. So it's supposed to be written 83.75. Then we go for the next four pairs of quarters again. So we talk about the second quarter here, all the way to this one here. When we add these four quarters and divide by four, we get a value of 84.5. This one shows the trend for quarter two. It is the trend as from quarter two. This is what will be tra uh, the trend that will be approximated up to quarter three. Then you go to the next four 
order when you start from 80 we count 1 2 3 4 so it will be up to this one we add the four values divide by 2 we get a value of 91.0 then we go for the next quarters again from this one this one up to this one we get a value of <coughs> when you add these four values divide by four you're supposed to get a value of 95.5 we go for the next four orders again this way We add the 4 divided by 4, we get a value of 87.25. 87.25. Then the next pair again. 4 pairs from this one. 1, 2, 3, 4. We add the 4 values divided by 4, we are supposed to get a value of 89.5. We go to the next four pairs from this one all the way to this particular set here. We add this four value divided by four, we're supposed to get a value of 85.75. <coughs> then we go to the next one. The four next four pairs, which is actually this one. Supposed to be this one all the way to this. Add the four value by two, two divided by four. is supposed to have a value of eighty-six point two five. And then when we talk about this one. We are going to have one, two, three, four. So it means our orders are now completed. We add these four values divided by four, we get a value of 94.25. But now look at the rule. The rule says that it involves centering in which a movie arrays of, of order two are computed based on the previous computed moving averages. So these values here gives us what is known as these are now the moving averages of order order four. This is for order four. Then now we're supposed to talk about the moving averages of order two. And this is now where we talk about the procedure involving centering. So we want us to talk about centering of moving average order 2 so we have order 2 of centering moving average whereby we simply add the, the the corresponding pairs and dividing each pair by 2 like when we add these two <coughs> supposed to be for example 83.75 plus 84.5 divide by 2 we are supposed to get a value of 84.125 then we add the next two pairs again it's supposed to be supposed to be 80 the last one 84.5 plus 91 divide by 2 we get a value of 87.75 again we add these two so we're supposed to have this one here talk about and then the next one should be these pairs here when we add 91 plus 95 point five Divide by two. Divide by two is supposed to be ninety-three point 
0.25 supposed to be 93.25 <coughs> then we go to the next pair again this one here so it's supposed to be 95.5 plus 87.25 divided by 2 we get a value of 91.38 91.38 again we get this pair here which is 87.25 plus 89.5 divided by 2 is supposed to get a value of 88.38 then we go for this pair here which is 89.5 plus 85.75 divided by 2 is supposed to have a value of 87.6 Then we go to this pair, so the last pair is supposed to be 85.75 plus 86.25 divided by 2, we get a value of 86.0. Then the last pair is supposed to talk about 86.25 plus 94.25 divided by 2 we get a value of 90.25 now these values these ones here are known as trend values they actually tells us actually the approximated sales for every quarter for the next period and this is how we do our centered movie averages please kindly don't forget to subscribe if you find this video helpful thank you